Ever since commerce began, there have been goods to trade, ships in which to carry them, ports, terminals, and logistics to handle them, and agents to facilitate the process. From small beginnings, the Grindrod Group has not only survived what is often termed the boom and bust of the shipping industry, but has grown into a highly respected business, both in South Africa and worldwide. In 1910, Captain John Grinrod established Grinrod and Company as a clearing and forwarding agency in the growing port of Durban. They had dreams of moving into the active shipping business, but who would have dreamt that this business would grow to become the top-listed shipping company in the world? In 1922, 12 years later, Captain Grinrod and Mr. Leon Renard purchased the company's first steamship, a 150-ton steamship Frontier, which had been laying disabled on the Durban breakwater. She was refloated and re-equipped, ready for cargo such as sugar, oil, timber, and possibly livestock. After the death of Captain John Grinrod in 1930, Walter Grinrod took over the management of the company and quickly became very active within the local coasting industry. Containerization emerged in the 70s, expediting global trade, and Unicorn Lines took full advantage of this by opening South Africa's first container depot and commencing a weekly container service between Durban and Cape Town. Grinrod Unicorn Group Limited listed on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange in 1986. Two years later, the group began the process of internationalizing its shipping operations. Thirteen years after listing, in 1999, the group faced a major bend in the road. Following the Asian crisis, shipping markets plunged, and the business reported a loss of 66 million rand. The share price was 20 cents, and market capitalization was 100 million rand. It was time for new direction and focus. The group acquired Island View Shipping, marking the group's entry into the dry bulk shipping sector, and shares in Unicorn, held by the Restus Group, were successfully purchased, ensuring total control of Unicorn by Grincor. The executive put in place a strategy to purchase ships when markets were low, and ensure diversification of the fleet. Grindrod also started acquiring businesses within freight services, establishing the trading division and acquired 100% shares in Grinrod Bank, previously Marriott Merchant Bank. With a low-cost modern fleet, Grinrod was well positioned to take advantage of the shipping boom in the years 2002 to 2008. In 2005 and 6, Grinrod was awarded the prestigious Marine Money Award in New York City as the top-listed international shipping company. They were also awarded the top spot in the Sunday Times Business Times Top 100 Companies for the second year running. In 2007, CEO Ivan Clark retired, and our current CEO, Alan Oliver, was appointed as his successor. By 2008, Grindrod Limited had grown its market capitalization on the JSE by 120 times in less than 10 years. From a loss of 66 million rand in 1999 to an all-time high of 2.2 billion rand, in 2008 the financial crisis rippled throughout the world and shipping markets plummeted. The long-term contracts, cargo cover and diversification into freight services and trading was now standing the business in good stead. In 2011, a 2 billion rand capital raising transaction resulted in Remgro owning 19% of Grinrod. The 2 billion capital raised in this process will further support Grinrod's growth plans, which include infrastructural developments within strategically positioned ports and terminals, as well as the flexibility to respond to new opportunities as and when they arise within each operating division. After a century of expansion and positioning itself as an internationally respected shipping and freight logistics business, the Grinrod Group is well poised to face the challenges of the future and looks forward to charting new horizons.